feeling I'm, I'm somewhere close to it. Where was it? It was somewhere here. Hello, my friends. I am in Swansea today, outside my area. What I wanted to do was visit different thrift shops and take you to different areas and see what treasures we can find you know trying our luck somewhere else so i'm a little lost at the moment i'm trying to remember where this op shop was i can't find it in my navigation it's a little anglican church op shop i found some really good stuff there once before a long time ago with my cousin and so i've got a feeling i'm, I'm somewhere close to it we will find it we will find it <laughs> We made it, but it's not Swansea, it's Belmont. And there is the op shop right there. I'm so excited because last time I was here, I found some really great treasures. The goal here is not to find a plethora of finds, it's to find vintage treasures. So, let's go. of clothing for ten dollars does that include anything that's men's children's and women's oh that's great <laughs>
skirt is exactly the skirt I have on in a size medium as well. Should I get another one? I think I will to put on my shop. What are the chances really? Tag ten dollars still included in the in the deal. Yeah, I have the ten dollars yet. Okay. So it says ten dollars, but it's still included in the promotion. There five items of clothing for ten dollars. I don't know about this one. No good. jumpsuit for someone very tall. It's by Soft Joy, a really good LA brand. on I gotta tell you I'm not that thrilled with any of these things but sometimes when you try them on they look better so let's do a little speedy try on this is vintage and I think it is beautiful it's a lot nicer on than what it looked like on the hanger even though it is sheer and I steer clear of sheer items this with a nude bra underneath is just so beautiful I think this would look gorgeous with a pair of jeans and a pair of kitten heels or flat pointy shoes I think it is a beautiful item it definitely looks vintage but still you know modern enough to wear and not you know granny chic so I really like this Okay, so this yellow dress is by Expression and for me it's a no. I think it is a little dated, although I do like the skirt of the dress. I'm really into this boho tiered skirt. I think it's a gorgeous colour, but as I said, it's a little dated for me. That is why I'm not taking it. This, my friends, is a vintage shift dress. There is shoulder pads in the shoulders, which I would probably take out. However, they are not too dramatic of a shoulder pad, just gives it some structure. I don't know about this length on me, but it is vintage and it's a simple shift dress and I have to take it because, although I may not keep it for myself, this is something that will sell on my shop. There also is this button detail on the side of the dress, both sides. I just think it's, you know, too good to pass up, even though I may not wear it. I know that this is a treasure find. The neckline is high enough. I mean, it's just high enough for me. I would have preferred it to be a little bit higher, but I could still work with it. is a Dorothy Perkins Made in UK little bolero jacket in a taupe colour. I'm not really sure about this pocket detail, but it is lined. It is great quality. It's a great colour, great length. It fits me well. It is vintage. This 
little jacket is by Country Road. It's in a gorgeous navy colour. I've never really been drawn to jackets like this, but I do appreciate the tailoring. I think it's really flattering. I like the length. It's hard to capture on footage because it's so dark. Same as the dress. I obviously would not wear it with this dress. Probably with something contrasting underneath like a white t-shirt and then some denim and some trainers. I am possibly considering this one for my shop. This is a jumpsuit by a fast fashion label. It's a size 12 and you should always size up in jumpsuits because of this crotch area. You do not want camel toe. This is all kinds of wrong. This is just dated and I do not like the way it fits on me. So this is a no. These are way too big and I don't think I'm going to take them because of the grain in this jean. They have this kind of stripy grain running through it and I just don't like that. I don't think they will even sell on my shop. So this is probably going to be a no. This blouse is by Misha Designs, made in Australia and it has a beautiful gold lyrics running through it. This is how you can tell vintage garments, you guys. Look at the ticketing. The label composition says it's polyester and rayon and it's one size fits all. So as I said, it's by expression. It's made in China. It's a size 10 and it has cute embroidery on it, just not for me. And it is 100% cotton. So this is by Casadel made in Australia size 10 and the fabric composition is polyester viscose blend. They're the shoulder pads inside the dress so not too big and then it's a zip closure. So as I mentioned this is Dorothy Perkins a 12 UK. It's made in Romania and the fabric is 100% viscose. So as I mentioned the jacket is by Country Road that is an Australian label. It's a size small it is made in China and 100% linen, which is surprising. I did not think this was linen. I'm not sure if it's a little dated, but it is a very well-made jacket. So as I mentioned, fast fashion label is Miracle. It's a size 12. It's 100% polyester and it's made in China. <music> I ended up taking five items so the deal was five items for ten dollars and the things that I did not take was the jumpsuit the Levi's jeans and the yellow dress so I ended up taking the two jackets the country road striped skirt which I have on which is just so freaky the vintage dress and the vintage blouse so I'm pretty happy with that it was a fun trip. Thank you to my beautiful son who is filming me today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this thrift with me and I really hope I see you guys in my next one.